Hello everybody, my name is James, hope you're doing well, and welcome back to another video. So let's start with McLaren, who've unveiled their livery for 2024. Now this is quite a shock launch, like usually new liveries for an upcoming season are revealed in February, but McLaren posted a launch video and pictures of its new livery mid-January. Yes, the real car is still under wraps, but I don't think anyone was expecting a livery reveal so soon. Still, we have one, and it's no surprise that McLaren have stuck with the papaya look with the car looking very similar to last year. And speaking about the launch of the livery, McLaren boss Zach Brown said, We're delighted to launch our 2024 Formula 1 livery ahead of the new season. The design looks awesome, and I can't wait to go racing and see it come to life on track next month. Now McLaren ended up having a really good season in 2023. I mean, even though it started terribly, from Austria the team really turned things around, with them having a car that could compete with Ferrari and Mercedes. I think this will have helped the team to ensure they develop in the right way for 2024, so they can hit the ground running, instead of having to change things midway through the season. On top of that, the team's new simulation tools, wind tunnel and production facilities are operational. So for me, this is a year where there can be no excuses for McLaren if the car isn't great, and I think it will also be crucial because of Lando Norris as well, with this being the year he can put all the pledges that have been made to him to the test. Norris is under contract to McLaren until the end of 2025, but Motorsport.com said sources have suggested that even after Norris signed his latest McLaren contract in early 2022, informal interest from Red Bull has continued. And you never know, if Sergio Perez performs badly at Red Bull this year, the team could opt to try for Norris even if they do have Daniel Ricciardo waiting in the wings. And it seems McLaren are wary of things like this, with Brown regarding striking a fresh deal with Norris as a high priority in 2024. He was quoted by the race as saying, Of course we're in dialogue with Norris on a continuous basis, as he's starting to think things through, as we are. We're very focused now on the short term, but also 26 is not far away, and recognise that being able to retain Lando and Oscar for the foreseeable future is definitely a key element, and something that's a high priority for us. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. But that's going to be the video from me today, thank you ever so much for watching, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos and until the next one, take care, bye.